Hi everybody out there in the YouTube community. This is amateur artist Mark D. Chandler of Manland, and that is actually Manland 121 here on YouTube. I've got an update to the Stansport stainless steel cook pot. It is a one liter that was advertised on Amazon. It's actually a one quart. What I have here basically is a modification to turn this into a billy can to suspend over your campfire. Now, I kind of got inspired by this before I actually bought the pot and oh, let me also say this before I get to that. If you want to see the review on this Stan Sport pot here, the link is in below in the description below. And there's also an update to that review that shows a few more problems with this pot. It's also listed down below. Uh, and this person here who inspired me to do this type of modification is Oshawa Bushcraft and yes I am reading from my notes here. Uh, to simply find it is to go to Google in the search type in MSR mod MOD and he was the first thing that popped up. The actual name of the video is uh, Bale Mod MSR Seagull and Stowaway Pots. Of course I will have a link to that video directly in the description make it a little easier but basically uh, the whole idea of the Stanley Adventure Camp cook set which is uh, this little gizmo here this is the way I got it uh, this is exactly how I found it except for the stains because I've been doing a lot of cooking on it I'm not going to talk about the Stanley cup here but this is basically how I purchased it when I purchased it, it uh, dirt cheap, dirt cheap. There was no lid, there's no cups. It did have a piece of paper inside there as far as the descriptions and all that kind of stuff. But this is the way this right here came. And I was thinking about using this as a billy can. And there's another video which I won't post yet because I'm going to get back to this one later in another video. But this is dealing with the Stansport stainless steel one liter is actually one quart to make this video short basically uh, I created this piece of wire this is baling wire this is what we use to bale our boxes together but it's basically almost exactly the same type of wire that you have in your clothes hanger wire especially the thin ones that they have now uh, you know back in the days they used to make real thick things but now this is basically it's just El Cheapo to try to get away with it I'm going to take a photograph of this place it here on the video so you can get a real good view of it it uh, I can't really tell you the dimensions but I will show you this it fits and it fits level inside the pot uh, it fits at the very bottom it's not a problem but basically the way I've got it configured here is on this end right here it lifts up I'm going to show, this is my prototype that I was working on earlier, but I'm going to demonstrate this as if it were a line hanging from the top. Maybe you can get a better view of that. Now, it doesn't quite sit perfectly level because you really have to work with it to get your, you have to do it by hand, and I use my eyeballs, but it works fine for me. And yes, the lid itself does indeed fit on there in this configuration. This is not going to fall apart, uh, even though this is... Uh, basically clothes hanger wire there's no way that I'm gonna put any type of great weight on this thing to straighten these things out there's just no way to do it I mean this is such a small pot it's not gonna happen but now on um, Oshawa Bushcraft's uh, video that he did for the MSR Seagull he configured his so that uh, basically when you let go of it the pieces do not fall into the food or into the pot as he says I didn't recreate what he had because I had some concerns about this pot I know me too well basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off the hook set it down and I want it to easily be able to remove these set them to the side so that they can cool off quick and remove the lid now also with this piece of equipment here when I go to pour because this does not lock it does not lock in position I can then use this piece to hold it out and be able to flip without it flipping over so that's the second use hanging and being able to pour your water out real simple I'm going to make another piece exactly like this I'm going to have two of them here inside the pot because 
Now, once I remove this plastic knob, this thing's hot. You go to grab this thing, unless you're wearing gloves, you're going to burn your finger on this lid, as I stated before. But for now, while this plastic piece is in there, now I'm able to pick up my lid. And I'm able to pick it up and move it and place it while it's still hanging. I mean, it's just that simple. And so I'm going to make an exact duplicate, or as close as I can, for this. So you probably do want two if you do it the way that I've done it. So that's the only modification that I have so far on the pot. I hope that helps. I appreciate everyone out there who, you know, listened to this review, who liked it, you found it useful, and... I just want you all to take care and enjoy yourselves out there in the sticks. Basically. 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 That's basically the end of this video. Bye-bye now.